How's it going, guys? It's Marcus. So, Rose Quartz is Pink Diamond confirmed. What? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, the episodes Can't Go Back and A Single Pale Rose aired on TV. And the big reveal for the special was in A Single Pale Rose, where Rose Quartz was revealed to be Pink Diamond. Pink Diamond and Pearl orchestrated the fake shattering of Pink Diamond so Pink Diamond could live her life on Earth with the Crystal Gems and humans as her new identity, Rose Quartz. I do gotta give props to Pink Diamond though for having the stamina to shapeshift her natural form for thousands of years for like all this time, like before she, even she gave birth to Steven and after the war. That's Ooh, long time to be staying as Rose Quartz. Also, by extension, this makes Steven Pink Diamond in a way. These episodes as standalone episodes were nice and well written and were pretty well paced as well, but I do have a major issue with Rose being Pink Diamond. Especially being a person who saw the Leaks Cartoon Network show about Steven Universe on their YouTube channel on accident uh, about a week ago. The mystery of Pink Diamond shattering had been an ongoing plot point in Steven Universe since the summer of 2016. So many theories and speculations have gone into this mystery and for the mystery to be resolved in this manner is, is just a bit disappointing to me. There were definitely people who have been calling Rose Pink Diamond for a while and shout out to y'all for sticking with that theory, you know, you guys were right. And I'm not trying to discredit people who theorized Rose was Pink Diamond, but the way this mystery was just built up for so many years and the way this concluded, it just, just doesn't feel right to me. Blue Diamond was over here grieving for thousands of years, thinking one of her other diamonds was gone when in a sense she was, but at the same time she met her face to face in the trial. <laughs> the entirety of the gym were started because of this whole debacle of everybody thinking Pink Diamond was shattered. One of the central messages I've gotten from Steven Universe as well is you should love yourself for who you are. Rose was always the one preaching that, you know, you should love yourself, but she gave herself a new identity so she could live on Earth. Like, she completely abandoned the Pink Diamond name and became somebody else. In the episode, she was like, oh, Blue and Yellow Diamond don't care about anything, but Pink Diamond could have at least tried to talk to them more about the importance of life on Earth. Pink Diamond created the idea of Rose Quartz before the shattering even took place. We know that judging by not only the dream Steven had and can't go back when Blue Diamond is talking to Pink about Pink's alter ego, and the other stories Garnet has told about the Crystal Gem past. Well, after everything we know, Garnet's stories haven't, you know, been 100% accurate, but I think it's safe to assume the portions about quote-unquote Rose starting the Crystal Gem Rebellion before Pink Diamond disappeared was correct. The point I'm making is Pink didn't really love who she was, so she created the persona of Rose so she could look happy. I guess she wants to be happy and all, but this whole scheme she had put other gems through so much hardship. Pearl had to say goodbye to the diamond she served and known for so long. Pink's personality was still there in spirit, I guess, but you know Pearl was hurting over that, for sure. When Pearl shapeshifted into Rose to poof pink, she was crying her eyes out. Those weren't fake tears, dog. Those were, those were definitely genuine tears. Not to mention she was forced into silence for thousands of years to keep the secret from Pink's son as well as her fellow Crystal Gems. Considering the severity of the stage shattering, that's so much weight for Pearl to be carrying on her shoulders. I feel like Pearl's character also becomes less unique in a sense, at least when it comes to her loyalty. I mean, loyalty has always been one of her biggest traits, you know, she's always been super loyal to Rose. But now that Rose has been confirmed to be Pink Diamond, Pearl's loyalty trait just becomes less unique because she was just serving her diamond until the very end. And Bismuth's over here making Rose's sword when its major use was to stage the shattering of her former self. The gem war was triggered because of Pink Diamond being quote unquote shattered. So many gems fought for thousands of years over this and were corrupted because of this. Think of the shit that Jasper had to go through. She hated the gem she also loved and served at the same time. She was corrupted for, for nothing basically, and it sucks. I know the diamonds didn't take Pink super seriously, but I don't believe they are completely beyond reasoning. The Steven Universe timeline wouldn't be the same if this ended up being the case as in Pink Diamond not creating an alter ego to fight for Earth, but she could have at least tried reasoning with the other diamonds. That's the main issue I had with Pink Diamond's decision. She was shown in Steven's Jungle Moon flashback to have a childish personality, and that still kind of stands here. Pink was being really selfish, crying and whining for an army to yellow, and her selfishness is fleshed out even more from this episode. Pink Diamond's choices put so many characters through hardships because she didn't want to speak her mind and follow her beliefs as herself. Like, what What the fuck is the human zoo now? The human zoo actually doesn't make any sense now. If Pink Diamond loved humans so much and wanted to live alongside them like she said in a single pale rose, the episode that just aired, then what was the point of the zoo? Like, was it a safe space to preserve human life in case the colony actually went through? But even still, the humans in the zoo were forced to live in a certain manner. They, they were happy, but it's because they were raised in such a specific manner and weren't really given any free will. The other Crystal Gems almost always built her up to be this perfect gem who loved everything, but after learning about her plot, it, it's impossible for me to see her like that. It's impossible for me to see her as this almighty loving being who loved everybody and had almost no flaws. Like. Pink Diamond herself believed she was on equal footing with Yellow and Blue, but never took responsibility for her actions as Rose. 
Her selflessness and lying screwed over so many. Pearl had such loyalty to Pink Diamond, it was insane. It completely makes sense now why she was so hurt when she didn't know about Lion's existence back in Season 1. She really was the closest person to quote-unquote Rose out of all the other Crystal Gems because she was truly her personal Pearl who spent more time with her than anyone else. Pink's mind games were so bad, like, it makes complete sense for Pearl to be hurt about it. Lion was a really one-of-a-kind being until Lars turned pink, so for Pink Diamond not to tell Pearl about Lion, but for Pink to trust Pearl with arguably her biggest secret ever about the whole shattering setup, like, if I was in her position, I'd be questioning shit too and be really, really upset. Oh, but she always did what was best for everyone and what was the best for Earth. Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break, dude. <laughs> like, she she definitely took interest in human life. That That's obvious, like, because the human zoo existed and, you know, she's saying she wants to live alongside humans for sure. But it doesn't really seem like she was in this and doing all this for the greater good of Earth, but rather her own, like, personal desires. Now, although I'm not super happy about the outcome of this mystery, I'm glad that it is solved so we can move on to the next major conflict for the series. Even if the final outcome of this mystery ended up being better than the one we actually got, the mystery was still dragged on for almost two years, which is still a pretty long time. Like, even if Steven Universe didn't have hiatuses like that, it still would have been dragged on for a bit, in my opinion. It's just, I I'm just honestly not sure what kind of message the crew was trying to give with this conclusion of Rose being Pink Diamond. It's just its just really confusing to me. Well, hopefully they can do a better job redeeming Lapis, though. Hopefully they can do a better job redeeming Lapis. But I think that is going to be it for this video, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I also have a Discord server that if you'd like to join. The link for that will be in the description down below as well. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Peace out, take care, bye-bye.